Josh Kelly, well away, currently 6 0 fight for the Commonwealth title. Um, follow the sport icons. So, some of you may or may not know that my neighbour Josh Kelly is in fact going to be fighting David Avanessian, and that will be on the Kell Brook undercard on 8th of December. Um, now, for a lot of you guys who don't know who he is, you may just have seen the um, what the resume or the record, should we say, and said, but hang on a minute, but Avanessian, he's got 23 victories and three losses. So how good is he really? Now, bearing in mind, Josh Kelly is only 8-0. So this is a serious, serious step up. Bear in mind that Avanessian, those three defeats, okay? So we'll get through those ones real quick. His very first defeat was a unanimous decision loss to an undefeated fighter in only his second fight. Okay, Andre Klimov. So he lost that one on points. And then he went on a win streak and was undefeated for a long, long time. In fact, he went undefeated for, what, 15? So, sorry, um, six years he went undefeated for. And then he got a world title shot against Lamont Peterson. A lot of you guys will know Lamont Peterson. Um, at that time, this was for the WBA World Welterweight title. So this was his first and only real legitimate world title shot. And he went the distance with Lamont Peterson as well. He lost it by unanimous decision, but still he got there. And that was only two fights ago, okay? And since then, he got a points win, and his very last fight he lost, and he lost by a stoppage in the sixth round. And the guy who beat him is a Lithuanian, who I can't really pronounce his name, Kavaluskas, who was 18-0 and at the time. In fact, today he's 20-0 and with 16 knockouts. So this guy, is looking pretty good and fully expect that guy to have a world title shot very very soon so he doesn't he doesn't have a bad resume so if you just look at the win and loss column you think ah, he's not very good but if you actually look look at it you can see why he's lost he's lost to two undefeated fighters one of them is still undefeated of course that was his very last fight who's currently 20 and 0 right now and a world title fight against lamont peterson where he lost on points so he's a very very good fighter and out of his 23 wins, he stopped 11 opponents. Now, Josh Kelly, as I said, he's my neighbour. Well, kind of neighbour. I'm in Newcastle. He's in Sunderland. And I've spoken to him on a couple of occasions. Real, real nice lad. But when he gets in that ring, he turns into a damn machine. He's a fighting machine. And he is so much better than what people have seen so far. You put him in against decent opposition, you'll get to see the real Josh Kelly. You really will. And against this guy... It wouldn't surprise me if this fight goes a distance or a late stoppage win for Josh Kelly, but still very, very dangerous for Josh Kelly, considering he's only 8-0. Of course, Josh Kelly, he is the um, Commonwealth welterweight champion and, of course, the WBA international welterweight champion as well. So, in other words, he's ranked. Um, and his last fight, of course, was this past weekend on the Usyk Value undercard, where he dispatched Walter Fabian Castillo in the very first round. And Castillo, again... Not a bad resume, 13 wins and only two defeats. And Josh Kelly dispatched him in the very first round. And a lot of people saying, well, Castillo's a journeyman. I mean, on what planet is he a journeyman? <laughs> he really isn't. So anyway, Josh Kelly versus David Avanessian. That will be on the Kell Brook undercard on December the 8th. So keep your eye out for that one. It's actually a very, very interesting fight. And this is the kind of fight where, where we should see how good Josh Kelly is. If he handles Avanessian with relative ease, eases to a points victory or stops him, then that is very, very impressive for a lad of this age. So anyway, drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, and of course subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.